Hi, I'm Hyan. I'm a student journalist with UCAS Media Group. I think my first YMG program was like intimidating, but I realized how much I like interviewing. When I started there, I signed up for the fall workshop and that fall workshop kind of solidified it for me that like I thought I thought journalism and like news writing was was really cool. After my first news story was published, I like I sent it to all of my teachers to read and it was even posted on like my school page, like this school, this article is out about youth in Philly. And I was able to, over the course of like the past year or so, touch on a lot of topics that I had never been able to like truly talk about. I didn't know young people journalism and like targeted toward us was done by people my age. You know, I've been doing programs with YMG for a while and I think through doing this, I've really gained a love for journalism. Like when I talk about doing um, minors in school now, I think I do want to take at least a couple of journalism classes and maybe earlier on work with somewhere where I can just publish independently. It was just nice to think that I came across YMG just to get curious and was like, oh my goodness, it's my first time getting paid. YMG was the first program I ever came across like this, which was kind of set on the fact of like reaching out to young people and letting young people have a voice over issues that are affecting them and their communities it was heard and I was talking to people that weren't just like older than me or weren't just like talking to me they were opening up for our conversation and that's not something even if we do have that in Philadelphia I feel like it's not very advertised I had never heard of it today I was invited to the Sozo Say Summit which discusses the criminalization and the decriminalization of mental illness. I sat in on two talks. One which really stuck with me was a organization called Gray. They spoke about how mental illness and physical illness both should be held on the same standard. They're both not what makes you a criminal. I asked them a question. I did notice that there were a lot of African Americans, the African American clips within it. And if this was showed at my school was showed in a situation with my friends and other student journalists we probably wouldn't relate as much because we're young african-american students so do you guys have any thoughts on that how to make it easier to understand and relatable to young people i am really grateful that somewhere like ymg even took the time to come to philly because had you not been at that summit trying to reach out to people i never would have even heard about you guys i never would even try this yeah. i never would have expanded my perspective how i have now i never would have been published you guys are huge on my resume right now <laughs>